Look at that, a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we got Crystal up front. We're down here in the Everglades right off of Alligator Alley, which is the highway that's farthest to the south that connects the Turnpike to 75 on the west coast. Really, it connects the east coast to the west coast or vice versa. We're down here to catch all kinds of exotics. But before we even get started, I'm gonna take you back to about 10 minutes ago when we pulled into this little canal and what we saw. First time I've ever seen it, one of the craziest things I've ever seen here in South Florida. This looks straight out of the movie. I've never seen anything like this as we were driving down 75. There was just thousands of water birds. Wait till you see what they're eating though. Look at that. That was just one little tiny scoop. That's all grass shrimp. I mean millions of them. That, that is crazy. All these, look at that catfish, the armored catfish. I've never seen anything like the amount of shrimp that's right here. So the Everglades is starting to dry up. And everything's getting pushed out of this little canal right here. And there's zillions and zillions of these shrimp. Look, zoom in on my hand. I mean, there's just... All grass shrimp. <laughs> Everything's in here just gorging on them. When we first drove by this little finger canal, there was tons of big white pelicans and blue herons and white egrets and cormorants. Everything else you can imagine. Up there. Right over there on the edge of the wind, there's tons of armored catfish rolling. Look at the big gator. The Everglades is such a neat place. There has to be big bass in here. Just has to be. Look at this. All kinds of line. Look at that. Those are walking catfish. We just came through here and there were some big mudfish. AKA bowfin. I want to see if I can't gig one. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this many garfish ever anywhere. All the Everglades, as big as it is right now, is drying up. I just filmed a flock of white pelicans feeding with some pink spoonbills. Probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Oscars and bass. Like, look at the Oscars right there feeding on the bank. I think we need to catch a couple of them. All right, right here, right here, right here. Oh, I just missed him. You didn't even give him a chance to fight. <laughs> This is a... Whoa, that one looks different. This is a baby, too. Ow! Every single Oscar you catch will look completely different than the next one. I'm talking about. They are so feisty. <laughs> Beautiful Oscar. There are literally millions of them. Now you gotta excuse the noise of the highway. We're right on the side of 75. We're actually gonna move down a little bit. I'm gonna try to find one more mudfish and then we're gonna go try to catch some peacocks. Peacock bass, that is. Do not lip the Oscars. They do have teeth. <gasps> Oh, that might like not that. be a gar or a mudfish, but this is one of the terrible 
bad exotics that we have. Oh, no, 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 no. That's called a paleco, a coon or a bobcat or even an alligator will go up there and get him. And he won't have to worry about him digging into these levees like this. They dig big holes and they've cost Florida's tax dollars billions. If we don't catch anything to eat, we might be eating one of them. get one eventually <laughs> oh that thing's weird looking so this is almost an identical look at this guy yeah don't slow down or nothing i'm on the rocks hold on you guys don't ever be that guy right there <laughs> if you see somebody up against the bank knowing it's a rock bank slow down and idle by them like that guy's got anywhere to be it's a weekday Pisces avoided. So these are almost just like a snakehead, except for they don't have the cool patterns and they're a little bit girthier, but pretty much the same fish, the same size teeth. They act and feed exactly the same, but these are what we have here in Florida. Cypress trout, bowfin. Oh, look at all the lice I wanna on him. I want to see his teeth. Look at all the lice right there on him. Ew. Ew, they're moving. Ew. Stick your finger in there. No, show me. <laughs> These things will bite you oh my hard. His jaw looks super strong too. Yeah. Good job. Oh! I knew that light line was gonna haunt me. You cannot use too light a line when you're fishing around. Lily pads! <laughs> Trying on a new leader. Alright, so I just cut that off. That was 10 pound test. I should have known better pitching into lily pads. Danko just come out with another new cool product. Little snippers that you can put around your neck. You don't ever lose them. I cannot stand wearing pliers around my waist. I love Danko's pliers, but I can't stand wearing them attached to my hip. Just tied a uni to uni. Stepped up to 25 pound braid. Gotta make sure my girlfriend didn't heist my baits. <laughs> These things right here, folks, they're expensive, but they work. So I actually tie a bait knot, a live bait knot, a little loop knot, just so that bait can flutter a little bit more realistic. That fish will probably move right back up on that bed. Now I got 25 pound, my Fitzgerald fishing rod, my new one. You guys, this rod is legit. Go get him. You think he's there? I think he's sitting right back on the bed. Almost certain he is. Oh yeah, he is. You see him? Maybe we'll get our bait back. Uh, he didn't like that. <laughs> Got him! See how hard that fish is pulling? <laughs> what happened? I think it's still on. I think he is. All kinds of hung up. He just hung on those lily pads. Might have come off. Dang it, that's bad luck. take you straight in those lily pads. I think he's still going around them. <laughs> Talk about a hard fish. There. Oh, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well. That's a giant fish. A beautiful fish at that. He swiped it so hard wow. that he actually got foul hooked. And in any major league bass fishing tournament, when they're fishing for spawning fish, if a guy would have caught her just like that, he wouldn't, it wouldn't count. It has to be hooked inside the mouth. Look how beautiful that fish is. That is pretty. The color reminds me of a, pretty. Of a pickle. Yeah. I think we should probably eat a male though, because she's spawning. Turn her loose. Yeah, we should let her go. Alright, we'll turn we'll her loose. Her Actually, for what she had to go through, we're definitely turning her loose. <laughs> you guys, we just moved about eight miles. And this Oscar right here just hit as hard as any fish I think I've ever had hit. We're down near Holiday Park now. Airboat tours are going on every... Ow! He just bit me! Look at the color on him, though. Put him on ice, babe. We might cook this. Ooh. Got him? Pitch it right over there. See that Oscar swimming? Yeah. Oh, oh. you got him. I got it. Stump knocker. Did you see how fast he hit that thing? He was not messing around. These things are feisty. Ow! Oh, what is that? Big ol' Oscar. Oscar. You gotta remember. You almost gotta think. Somebody turned one or two of those loose, and now there is billions of them. one over to lily pads right there folks at home new species ow gosh he's, if these fish right here got 25 pounds what is that you've seen them before mine cichlid oh uh, it's a cichlid if these fish got 25 pounds Ooh, it would man. be insane look at that totally different species So the last time you saw us, we were about 10 miles out of way. We came under 75 right here, and now we're at one of these little feeder creeks where the water's pouring out. Just millions and millions of bait fish. Oh, giant. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Look at this, folks. This is straight up a two pound Oscar. Like, huge. Easy. Let me just get the hook out. Easy. Good job. We got one already. See if you can do it twice. This time, throw it out there. Smaller jigs, faster reeling. Okay. Y'all hear heard her growling, didn't you? Hey, you jerked that joker slap out of the water. These things are nuts. I got, look at him eating down there. That's large mouth. Yeah. Look right here. Babe, I need my nippers back there. I took all my remotes off so it wasn't so noisy in the camera. Yeah, I don't want to bite it. I wore my teeth out when I was young doing it. If you go to dankopliers.com and use promo code BLUEGABE, you'll save 10% off your entire order. And I'm telling you, Danko, 
has everything you could ever imagine for fishing. Clippers and pliers and knives, you name it, they got it. Gaffs, dip nets, everything. Beachy will get butt hurt in a heartbeat if she gets out fish. That was cool. Top water. You can also get you a good pair of pliers What's at dinkopliers.com. Let's just let's just see if we can go two for two. Nothing better than top water. Oh, oh yeah. No. I can tell you one other thing Danko has. Next. Because oh. you do not want to get that Zara Spook in your hand. catfish imagine if you threw my 12 foot net right there you'd never pick it up where are you cold it got a little chilly i had to use this seat to stop the bugs from the hitting bugs me luckily so i could see through it really useful tech tip is if you're going to be on the boat right before dark in Florida have some clear glasses so you don't have to deal with the bugs luckily for me this Millennium Marine seat yep it did the trick what about the keys you know where the keys are yeah right here you want me to back this trailer in you think you can do it All right, so we lied just a little bit. We didn't cook yesterday. We ended up fishing until black dark. Ran down that canal back to the truck. The sun was setting. Y'all, that was an awesome fishing trip. But we're back. We're actually out in the Gulf on a little island. We've got all the fish that we caught yesterday. Well, some of them, not all of them. We got the mudfish, 
the Oscar and the cichlid. Crystal's been fishing over here on this beautiful beach. We're out on a peninsula surrounded by water. You guys, this place is amazing. Have you caught anything over there yet? No, but we need to remember to catch You did catch something today though, y'all. She is out fishing me. We got a keeper red and a keeper trout. In case these fish aren't any good to eat, we got some good ones. Look at that. Oscar mudfish cichlid. Crystal's very own customized gator cooler. Look at that. I don't talk about my coolers a whole bunch. I probably should. You guys can go in the link in the description below this video, go to the Gator Coolers link. You can use my promo code BLUEGABE to save 10% off. They can put anything you want on a cooler lid, like anything. If you have it in mind, just like our Everglades Fishing Company logo, Crystal's name, my logo, they can put whatever you want on a cooler. So we got the grill going with charcoal. I got all kinds of stuff to make, but first we got to clean the fish. So I got a brand new Pro Series Danko. I'm gonna use that in a second, but first I'm gonna take this spoon and I'm gonna scale the Oscar and the cichlid. I want Crystal to really get the full effect, all the taste of the Everglades. We're cooking them ho. Yeah. Now some of you know and some of you don't know, my brother's deer meat for dinner. He has a big YouTube channel as well. He did a mudfish catch, clean, and cook, and he couldn't eat it. He gagged. So I'm interested. This is the first one I'll ever try to eat. I did try to do one one time, but the meat was so disgusting I couldn't even force myself to do it. But we're doing it today. I feel like they call him mudfish for a reason. I feel like, I mean, just look at him. He doesn't even look appetizing. I mean, it depends on what you're looking at. He might look, he might be good. You never know. So I got the scales off of that one. I use a spoon. It's really cool that the dot's still there. Speaking of mudfish, so you've seen me do snakehead videos before. See that red dot? A snakehead has one of those on his tail too. Now the cichlid, his scales are a little tougher. You guys, I put it to Crystal's butt yesterday, but she has put it to mine today. I was even using live shrimp and she outfished me. If you want to see our video from today, be ready because it's coming up next. We're going to Wyoming at the end of April to go mountain lion hunting with the boys. I'm taking Luke and Jake to hunt mountain lions on foot with dogs. Luke said he's bringing his sword. <laughs> Same thing. When you order one of these Dankos like this, I also have a promo code. Go to dankopliers.com, save 10%. I've had people ask me why I tell you guys about my promo code. It's not for me to make money, it's for you guys to save money. I don't make money off the deal. But when I have a business that I use their product, I make them give me a promo code so when you guys order something, you get to save money. I'm just, it's hard for me to feel this mudfish meat when I know I got a redfish and a trout over there. But Crystal said she was super excited to try it, so. No. Here we are. It's like, it's like the consistency of catfish, kind of. Oh man. Smell it. I don't, I'm definitely not smelling it because if I smell it, I probably won't try it. It doesn't look too bad. You don't want to do the other side? <laughs> I will. If you tell me this side's good, I'll do that side. <laughs> Oh, it feels mushy like mashed potatoes. One good thing about being out here in the salt water, you can just wash the meat off. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. All right, let me show y'all how to do this. I'm doing it sort of South Pacific style. A little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of kimchi. Shout out to my boy PK from Rhoda. I'm adding some jalapenos. Crystal loves things spicy. I can't figure it out why she does. She just loves it. A little bit of mayonnaise. Just mix this up. You might wonder where I'm going with it, but you're about to learn. A little bit of garlic. Not that much. Just like so. 
All right, we're gonna chop up some onions. That's another thing Crystal likes. She will eat them raw, cooked, sauteed, boiled, broiled, it doesn't matter. She will get her some straight onion breath. Put them right in the sauce. Getting ready to see where I'm going with this in just a second, folks. Get you some aluminum foil. Just like that. I need to cut up some butter. Two pieces should be plenty. Salted. I like salted butter. Put one piece underneath him and we're going to put one piece on top of it. I took his gills out. All you do is cut him down his guts. Took his gills out. Score him up a little bit. Just like so. Flop him on here. Stir your sauce. Get them onions in there nice and well. Just do this right here, folks. Get some down in his gut cavity. Flip him over. My buddy PK from Rhoda, who if you saw any of Robert's videos where he went down there to the South Pacific, that's who got him involved with it, was PK. Would you hand me the Lowry's garlic salt? Yeah. Folks, look here, you can't do it without some Lowry's. Just like so. This is way better than cooking down there in Everglades where the mosquitoes <laughs> uh -huh, were bad. You can't beat that. All right, let's go, come on. Slap him on the grill. I'm gonna do the same thing with the Oscar. Once these are done, I'll cook the mud fish. Now, if all else fails <laughs> and the fish is terrible, I brought us a really good salad. Cause I'm all about health right now at this point in my life. I don't eat many sweets. I try to only eat vegetables. I mean, Little Debbie's are okay and Inamin donuts and things like that, and Oreos and Chips Ahoy, but really nothing else. I just try to stick with those basic food groups. Energy drinks and Mountain Dew. You know, you can't really go wrong with that. I made a very interesting salad dressing though because the only thing I forgot was salad dressing. So I just made one by scratch. From scratch, not by scratch, from. You've been on those squirt kicks lately too. Yeah, y'all leave a comment mm -hmm. below if you like the, the soda squirt. It's the best. No dirty comments either, because I'm sure somebody right now, oh my goodness, did that. Squirt. No, just the soda. The grapefruit soda. Did you know it's grapefruit flavored? Yeah. Look at that. Now, we took pretty much the same exact thing we put on the fish. I just added a little bit more lemon and a little bit more jalapeno juice be able to liquefy it just a little bit. Call it a South Pacific salad dressing. Even though anybody from South Pacific is probably laughing at me right now. Here you go, my love. Thank you. Let's try. This whole thing's for me. What? Got You'll eat it, I know that. <laughs> Y'all look at all my ingredients back there. We're just roughing it right here in the boat. It's kind of nice though. We kind of have the whole kitchen. Good? I could eat this whole bowl. I'm sure you guys, that little girl right there can eat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're cooking now. I'm going to open this vent on the bottom a little bit. Probably needs about another 10 minutes. Who's doing the dishes? We'll split them. <laughs> so typically I use my power poles, but because there's waves rolling up and down, the power poles will give just a little bit. So ProDrive, when you buy one, they make these skegs that you just slip through the hole and it cannot move. That's the reason I'm not using my power poles right now. One beautiful filet of mudfish coming right up. Now we had something crazy happen a minute ago. I've never had charcoal go out before. My charcoal just went out. So since then I picked up a bunch of sticks, got gasoline out of my motor, I've done a lot to get this fire going again, folks, but it's cooking now. We went ahead and took that mud fish, one filet of it, and one, pe one little piece of the filet, not the whole fish, and put it in that South Pacific sauce. 
just to try to mask whatever it's going to taste like a little bit. Crystal's excited. I'm not excited. I mean, they're McDonald's fish of filet, Burger King fish of filet. Those aren't that bad. This is probably going to be bad. What do you think about that? I touched it earlier, and just the cons consistency was really disgusting. I mean, it might not be too bad. I don't know if it's going to be as good as this view, though. I've been in worse places in my life. It's starting to like shrivel up like a caterpillar. I guess that's my best analogy was a caterpillar. Visually, it doesn't look that bad though. If it's good, I'll fillet the rest of it and cook it for you for dinner tonight. Great. So these Oscars and cichlids, the heads are so much bigger than the tails. So I've got the tails up off the fire a little bit and I'm trying to just cook the head so it cooks a little bit more evenly. This fire went from nothing to is super hot right now. While we're doing this, we're actually waiting for the tide to start going out so we can fish again for the next video that y'all are about to watch. Babe, look at this. I mean, I'm gonna roll it in the sauce just one more time. It doesn't look that bad though. I think you're gonna like it. it don't look too bad. I wish more people would like to eat Oscars and cichlids because there's so many of them, they're literally overpopulating. Here comes the moment of truth though. I need to put the lid on right here. Let me see. I always, I always make everybody else taste the bad stuff on this channel. Now it's your turn. I don't know why I had to gig this thing. What do you have to say? Are you going in for another bite? Look at the texture of that thing. I guarantee what you one- What do you one, have to say? I guarantee you one thing. It's not what you expect. The anticipation is killing me. Yeah. It, I would, first off, I'd be gagging if it was bad. Try it, it's, it's not bad at all. You would eat that whole plate. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Who would have thought mudfish? I just don't know why it didn't. The piece that I had and the piece that you had cooked, but the rest of this didn't. So I'm gonna put it back on here real quick. I'm actually gonna lay it right in here with the old Oscar. I don't know what Robert was thinking because that's not bad at I all. I thought it was gonna go to complete mush, but it's actually kind of chewy. It tastes like lobster I mean, almost. We have it. a whole beautiful redfish in that cooler. I don't know why we're eating a mudfish right now. But it's good, ain't it? It's not bad. I know for sure that this is the first time a South Pacific style <laughs> Oscar and Cichlid mudfish catch, clean, and cook went down on this island. For sure. Oh, yeah, that's hot. I'm excited to try these. Side by side, they look exactly the same, but they will taste a little bit different. Now, if I had it my way, I would lay them on those raw coals just to sort of char it up a little bit. Cichlid, my love, it's probably hot. I probably wouldn't just go dousing it in your mouth. Mm. Good, isn't it? That's Yo, good. Look at that, right here That's on an good. island. That's it, folks. That's it. You've seen us catch, clean, and cook Oscar cichlid mudfish. Next video, redfish, trout, stone crabs, and whatever else we can catch. We have had a war with sheep's head thus far this morning, and we're probably gonna go back over there and re-engage in the war because we've been defeated. I'm not gonna lose. I've lost the battle, but I'm not gonna lose the war. Right now, though, this video is ended. Thanks for watching. We're gonna clean all this mess up. Nothing will be left behind except for scraps of these fish and that will be in the water. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.